Hey folks, new project today. And this is what we're on. Everybody knows little Alice C. And uh, what we're doing today, we're gonna put in a PT overrun clutch. And what this is, it's kind of a clutch with a ratcheting effect. And it goes, this one is inch and an eighth to, whoop, inch and three eighths, which is standard tractor size. Is one reason I'm doing adapting to it so I can use normal stuff but the older tractors on the PTOs when you got them kicked in they only work when the clutch is in and if you got a brush hog or something hooked to it it can actually push you and push you forward in this tractor and what this does get up here hear that click that's a ratcheting effect it will let the equipment spin and not push you forward get you hurt or killed on a hillside so we're gonna put one of these on today and they're not too bad this one what I'm gonna have to do these threads or splines right here I guess you should say they're splines but they're a little bit boogered up so I gotta take a file and clean in between them because these gotta be pretty well perfect to fit on there nice and clean so we're gonna do that with a file and I'll get it cleaned up and while we're on subject, I gotta drill that hole out just a little bit. It'll come with a carter pin that's, you know, recommended strength and size and all that. And it's just a hair bigger. So, I'll get that drilled out and cleaned. And we'll get it on. I'll show you about uh, driving this drive pin in and stuff. So, pretty simple, but figured I'd make a video of this in case someone else wants to do one of these on their tractor. They're, they're pretty easy to put in and they are literally lifesavers they can be. So I'll turn the camera on after I get cleaned up and get started and I'll see you in a bit. Alright guys, we're back. And I got all the splines cleaned up in between and everything. You can see I took a file to them right there. So got that, got the hole drilled out. Always check, I don't know, on the Alice Chalmers here on this C, I had to drill it up to match this. But all these splines always have a little a pinhole right here on these older tractors. And they may or may not have been drilled out or might have a bigger pin if you got, you know, like an old John Deere International or something. So just check it before you start drilling. But that ended up being a 930 seconds hole. And we cleaned it. And now to this part. When you get ready to do one of these, take your grease certs out, at least one of them. Set that right there, we won't lose it, hopefully. And if you'll notice, see that hole? It's a little offset, but let me get it all lined up here. I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to get it up here. Oh yeah, right there. Lined up. Alright, so line that up and get it on your spline here. Which I'll probably have to tap this on with a hammer, so. But line this hole, see if I can get it with a camera. Ugh, that hole with that hole on the spline, obviously. And a voila. And that should be, yeah. So I got that one lined up, and I got, they're in line with each other. I can't get it with the camera, but. Then what we'll do, we'll tap this up with a hammer slowly. As soon as I get it lined up, I'll drive the pin through right here so obviously that's going to be a two-handed job so i'll turn the camera on just a second when i get it all done so i'll see you in a bit okay we got it stuck in there all the holes are lined up so just take your deal take your hammer and just tap it tap 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 a -roo. so go like that and go all the way through till you stop i'll Get it done and put the grease cert. I had to take both of them off so I could, you know, see all the way through with the daylight. But I'll get it done, knock it down, then I'll show you what to do after you get it installed. So I'll turn the camera on here in just a second. Okay, guys, got the pin in. And what you'll have to do, you'll have to knock it down flush with a hammer and then take you a socket. This one ended up being a 730 seconds, but pretty well the size of the hole or a hair smaller. And you drive that pin on down until you can do this. Hear that clicking? It means everything's working right. So, that's what you got to do. Like I said, get it flush, tap it down, and finish it up with that. Just enough to where it'll ratchet. Because that's what it's supposed to do. 
and then we'll get these in and it's gonna be a little stubborn anyways I will get these the rest of the way in I ain't gonna bore you with that but I'll turn the camera on here when we get done and show you the finished deal here all right done folks what you lay get your two grease certs in take your grease gun put it on there walk it a little bit pump it you know do it two or three times and just walk it around and then you got her whooped and i said 9 30 seconds bit while ago it dawned on me i actually used it up to a 5 16 to get that out because that was a 5 16 roll pin it was perfect it fit good and then that socket was a 7 30 seconds but like i said you gotta drive that pin in so anybody wanting to do that on an older tractor i highly recommend it but this one had the inch and an eighth and a lot of the old tractors the smaller ones did i think the farm all a's did and the alice c's did uh i can't remember all of them off the top of my head but they had that little inch and an eighth spline on the back but all your regular stuff Except for the brand new stuff, which I think is 21 spline, but the rest of these are inch and three eighths. And they take this old six spline. So you got to kind of adapt this to run, you know, like I'm going to run a brush hog and some other stuff with it. So, but I got to have that on it to make it work. You know, that'll keep you from, you know, the brush hog from pushing you over a hill because they will, because these are direct drive. They don't have live PTO. And this run, I think it was around 40, 45 dollars shipped. So I'll put a link in the description below in case somebody else wants one of these. You can go ahead and pick one up, but they're really, really worth it. You'll love one if you ain't ever used one on this old stuff. And they also make them inch and three eighths to inch and three eighths for you know regular size tractors to put this you know overrun clutch on it, and they're very, very handy. So hopefully that'll help somebody out and another project down till I tear something else up or decide to tinker something else. But one more thing done on this. So I guess that's it for this video. So I'm going to clean up my mess now that I'm done with it. So as always, like and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.